In this video, I'm going to walk through how to solve identifying the origin of non-ideality in a gas. You're going to have three samples of gas. It tells you that they all contain one mole and they're at a temperature of zero Celsius. That they each have different pressure volume combinations and you're being asked to determine whether or not the gas is ideal. And if the gas is not ideal, why is it not ideal? So there's probably multiple ways to solve this problem. The way that I would solve this problem is by using the ideal gas law. So I'm going to use the ideal gas law, PV equals NRT. Um, because I have all of the variables, I have pressure, volume, mole, and temperature. And if the gas is ideal, I should be able to plug pressure, volume, moles, and temperature into this equation, um, and it should work perfectly. Everything should work out perfectly. If it doesn't work out perfectly, then I'll know that the gas is not ideal, and I can think more about why it's not ideal. Um, so the data that's being given to us, the data that's changing is the pressure and the volume. The NRT part is a constant for all three of these samples of gas because N and T are exactly the same. So I'm going to begin by solving for NRT for these samples of gas. The number of moles is 1, the value of R is 0 0.08206, and this is at 0 Celsius, which is 273 Kelvin. So NRT is 22 point, we'll say 22.4. And so that's uh, what I've done is solved the right-hand side of the ideal gas law. And then what I'm going to do is take each one of these pressure volume combinations, and I'm just going to multiply them by each other, 1.3 times 15. And if the gas is ideal, it's going to work out to be 22.4. So for my first gas, um, I'm going to make a note down here, for gas sample A, P times V is 1.3 times 15, which is 1.3 times 15 is 19.5, which is not equal to 22.4. So that means that gas A is not an ideal gas. If it was an ideal gas, this would be 22.4. Um, before we answer this question over here, let's just go through and do that for gas B and gas C. For gas B, pressure times volume is 1.5 times 20, which is 30. And 30 is also not equal to 22.4, so this is also not an ideal gas. For gas C, pressure times volume is 0.9 times 25, which is 22.5. And I think that's close enough for Alex. Um, we'll say that, yes, that one is an ideal gas. For gas C, because it's ideal, we don't need to answer this question over here. Um, but for gas A and B, because they are not ideal gases, we have to choose why, um, what is the most important non-ideality for gas A and gas B. And we're going to get that answer by comparing the value of pressure volume versus the value of NRT. For gas A, pressure volume, pressure times volume was less than NRT. We had 19.5 versus 22.4. When pressure and volume are smaller than what they should be, this is most likely due to attraction between particles of gases. If the gas particles are attracted to each other, that's going to actually suck them closer together, which is going to decrease the volume of the gas, which is going to make this number smaller than what we would expect for an ideal gas. For gas B, pressure times volume were greater than NRT. The pressure volume was 30 and NRT is 22.4. When pressure and volume are greater than what we would expect them to be, this is most likely due to the particles of gas not having zero volume. The particles of gas actually have volume, so that means it increases the volume of the sample of gas, which makes this side of the equation too big.